Hello people on the internet, what's up and welcome to another video on my channel where I do DIY videos and projects. Yes, and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you all how to do a DIY hand picking patch. Yes, this is from the Game of Thrones, one of my favorite shows. And uh, yeah, I'll be showing you all how to do this without using a metal embossing tool and the stuff that are easily available at your place so yeah now enough of talk let's get into the video okay folks so for this we'll be needing a metal can of some cold drink or something you have to cut it open cleanly so you have to see the top and the bottom is cut so you'll get a flat metal sheet on which you can work on now uh, you have to do a drawing of hand a ring and a sword which is on the top of the batch so next thing we'll be needing a clear tape to stick those drawings to the metal sheet So yeah, once the clear tape is on, you can see there is a layer of gloss or maybe you know a filming kind of thing happening on to the paper. Next thing we'll be needing is some objects which are blunt, you know, for the embossing thing to do. So I have different sizes of paint brushes, those tips, the ends of the paint brushes are of different sizes. Also, I am having wooden skewers, so even that will work because if we use metal on it, it will cause scratches. The wooden skewers won't. So, yeah, for right now, I'll be using a paintbrush to start off with. So, for the embossing thing, we cannot use a hard surface, so for that, I am having a tall, so that will be a softer one, so we can easily work on the metal because while uh, embossing uh, it, it's going to cause dent so that will sort of go inside the surface and will give us marking on the back side so if we do it on a harder surface we won't get it easily for that we need a softer surface now I'll just separate all those three parts and start off with the ring so as I said, I'll be doing the powder first and that will give me a outline for doing the dents in between. So as you can see, I'm doing the inner portion slowly and applying a bit pressure so that it will give me a good dent. And you can see those two rings that are formed. Yeah, so that is the thing we're going to work on. And that will give us a border for doing the dents in between them. So yeah, you can see two different rings. So the, the distance in between the rings is going to be filled from the back side. So now you can see we got those two rings and we are going to do the denting in between them. So for that we'll be needing a bigger tip. So that will cover a bigger surface than using a smaller tip which we use for doing the outline so fatter tip will do the work more easily and it will get embossed more better so now we've got the markings in between those rings and we are going to start off by giving a good pressure on the in between those circles and then you will get a good embossing effect on the flip side of it just keep doing and keep working on those circles and you know applying good amount of pressure and doing it in a uniform way will give you a good sort of embossed effect on the flip side of the metal can
once you keep embossing on it and giving a good shape you will see a proper circle once we remove this tape and paper and as you can see there is a proper ring over there So still keep working on it, uh, do those edges properly and again from the back side of it give a good pressure and you will get a good circle after that cut the circle with the scissor and again work on it for a better ring structure. This is how it looks once embossed properly. Now the next step is to cut the inner circle and I recommend doing it very patiently because it might cut your fingers as well. And after putting in some efforts I managed to cut the circle and um, yeah it looks good, it looks like a ring. So now it's time to work on the hand and we are gonna redraw it on those lines and after that work from the flip side of it. So once complete you can see the outline sort of seen on the back side of the can and as well as on the front side and it's looking good right now it's raw but it's looking good. And now we are gonna repeat the same procedure as we did for the ring after doing the embossing thing we are gonna cut it. So yeah it's complete and I know the thumb is not looking like the thumb but I have purposely kept it because it's gonna go through the ring, not through the ring actually under the ring for that purpose I kept the thumb a bit bigger. And the same thing with the sword, outlines and then the embossing from behind. So I've arranged it and this is how it's gonna look at the end once it's stuck together. Yeah I'm happy right now it's looking decent and we'll work on it now for sticking. In order to stick those parts together we are gonna use super glue and be super careful while using it because it can stick your fingers as well. So yeah. So first we'll arrange and see how it's gonna be placed and then stick it with the glue.
I almost stuck my finger right now. Next thing we're gonna add a safety pin to use that as a badge. So it's stuck and you can pin it easily on your shirt or maybe on your blazer or something like that. And yeah, it's decent. And also I have done some outline a little bit for more defined fingers. And here you have it friends, get ready to be the hand of the king, well I'm joking, it's, it's a good thing, a good fan creation maybe. And here are some shameless close up shots for YouTube right. So this is done, it's looking decent. I am quite happy with it. So yeah folks that's it for the video and I am quite satisfied with this. It doesn't look exactly the same, it's a DIY of course. And yeah, so I will meet you all in the next video, until then take care and